Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. For some reason my video footage completely failed me and the audio is awful. It sounds like I am underwater and you can't really hear anything I'm saying. This happens sometimes when I'm using my gimbal to film. I haven't figured out why and it's very inconsistent regarding when this happens or not but I'm so sorry that I couldn't grab the audio for this footage and instead I'm doing this voiceover. But basically, in this clip, I'm talking about how excited I am to go book shopping. I filmed this on February the 26th and I had made plans with my friend Steffi to go book shopping. I am trying to restrict my book shopping this year, so I'm only allowed to buy books within certain restrictions basically or I need to fulfill some goals and aims in order to be allowed to buy books and I had gathered up those prompts or reasons why I could buy books basically and then I had set this date that I really wanted to go book shopping on and I feel like doing it this way when I'm restricting my book buying to have like a set date have something to look forward toward have a plan to go into a physical bookstore and not just purchase books online it's working great. I was so freaking excited about this day. Like I was looking forward to it for weeks and I was doing my best in my reading in order to fulfill all of the prompts so that I could go book shopping this Sunday. So I highly recommend that actually. If you want to make book shopping feel a bit more special and stuff, like set a date, make plans. It's freaking awesome. In this clip also, I'm talking about what books I'm hoping to pick up. And the thing with my book buying rules is that I'm allowed to buy sequels or I'm allowed to continue with series I have started. In, and in February, I started two fantasy series and I was very excited to pick up the sequels to these two series. The sequels were Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie and also The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. Sequels in the Mistborn series and also the First Law series. So those were my aims. I also wanted to pick up Obsidio, which is the third book in the Illuminophiles series, because I'm hoping to read it in March for the Tropical Readathon. Another thing that this event coincided with is the annual book sale that happens in Sweden. I don't know if this is a thing in other countries, but in Sweden, every year around like February, March and April, I think, multiple bookshops, bookstores, publishers, all of that, they sort of collectively host a sale. Most of the time it's for the same titles across the bookshops, but still, like, there's an annual sale. Like, it's an event. They market this for weeks before. And I was excited to go into the science fiction bookstore in Stockholm and see what they would have on sale as well. A lot of excitement about book buying, book browsing and all of that. Hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. Sorry once again about the audio. <laughs> Hi, it's evening, I'm back home. The bookstore was a tad bit of a flop actually, which is disappointing. 
most of the sequels I was looking for were out. Uh, I asked and I think they will get them in on Monday or Tuesday. So that means that this vlog will be prolonged because I want to get those books. I really, really do. I found one of the sequels and that was Obsidio. That's the only thing I got from the sci-fi bookstore. I was like, I was looking. I was looking for Becky Chambers, Abercrombie, Sanderson. There wasn't really that much on the book sale that I was interested in, but they did have a bunch of great like new titles that I was a bit intrigued by and just happy to see in the store, but Obsidio is the one I got. We then actually went to another like bigger chain bookstore in Sweden and checked out their book sale in case they had anything and also if they had the Sanderson book and how much that would cost and stuff. I did get a book from that sale actually and I will show you that one at the end of the vlog. I'm quite excited about it and hopefully I can get some few more books this week. Like that's my aim. I want to get those sequels that I talked about and maybe something else. We're gonna have to see or I might just place an order on one of the online bookshops. We're gonna uh Depends on how desperate I get. But now I'm gonna edit a video, have a cozy evening. We went to Steffi's place after we had been shopping and we bought sushi and we catched up on The Last of Us and it was super cozy. But yeah, time to edit and have a nice evening. Hi, I just wanted to give an update. It's Tuesday and we know that my <laughs> book shopping mission sort of failed on Sunday, but I saw that the bookshop, the sci-fi bookstore, got the books I wanted in stock on Monday. So actually after work, I rushed over there and I picked those sequels up that I wanted and now I have them and I'm super excited about it. It makes me feel so much better now. I was so devastated that I couldn't find those books and now I have them, so that is epic. Hi. <laughs> Ooh, I am cold and it is late and I realized that I still haven't given you the final haul of the book shopping I did last week. My hair also looks crazy, but that's we're used to that, aren't we? I ended up purchasing a total of four books in stores. I might have placed an order for two books online. Please forget that. I haven't counted them yet. I was not allowed to purchase them. The first book I picked up was Obsidio, the third book in the Illumina Files series. It's a mixed media, young adult sci-fi. It's super cool. I'm hoping to read it this month in March actually. So we'll see if I will get to it. But this is the only book I found in the sci-fi bookstore on the Sunday. I was allowed to buy this because it's a sequel or a continuation of a series. I think this is the final one and this is where the characters from the first two books sort of meet up because they were on different spaceships in the first two books. I am excited. Hopefully I will enjoy this read of the book more than I did with Gemina. Not that I dislike Gemina, it was just that I read Gemina like two years after I had read Illumine and I barely remembered anything. While if I read this one now, I will only have read it like half a year later than Gemina, so better odds I guess. Another Shanker, but I'm not too worried about it because it is, as I mentioned, mixed media, so like documents and the chat logs and stuff. Over 600 pages, so yeah. The second book I picked up on the Sunday was in one of the, or like the big national book chain that we have in Sweden. As I mentioned, we have the book sale, annual book sale going on. And I saw this one was on sale. I don't think this is a part of the official sale. This book was 50% off because I think they were just clearing stock in the store. But I picked up Master of Sorrows by Justin Call. I've seen this around. It was on my Amazon wishlist. I didn't know anything about it, but it was one of the few English books that I saw and was interested in. So I decided to pick it up because I wanted to take part in the book sale. I wanted to be part of the community. I have since actually read the back of it and the description on Goodreads, and I'm super excited now. Of the Academy's many students, only the most skilled become avatars. Warrior thieves capable of infiltrating the most heavily guarded walls, and only the most determined are trusted to resist the lure of magic. It's about some academy that trains its students to detect and retrieve magic artifacts, which it jealously guards from the misuse of others. I'm excited. Like, I've, when I read also the description on Goodreads, sounds freaking cool so i'm very happy i picked this one up actually at half price as well and here we have another 570 pages i would say so i got the shankers this week 
Those were the books I picked up on the Sunday. I then went back to the sci-fi bookstore on Monday because I kept an eye out for those sequels that I wanted and I saw that they got them back in stock in the store. So I went there straight after from work and picked those up. So the first book I got was Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie, the second book in the first Lost series, and I'm very happy with it. It still looks like it's super character driven based on the description. And this is another 508 pages. <laughs> And then, of course, the other sequel I picked up was The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson, second book to The Final Empire. This is at another stunning 770 pages, approximately. I'm very excited about this one, actually. Part of me want to scratch my entire March TBR and just read these books that I purchased, because I'm, I feel like I'm so in the fantasy mood. And now I'm already invested in this series and all of that, so I just want to continue with them. I'm very happy that the store got these back in stock so I could purchase them. I did have a look in that other bookshop if they had these. They did have one of them, but it was like so much pricier than if I were to buy it in that first store. I could of course order them online, but I enjoy supporting the sci-fi bookstore. I think it's a really cool store and I kind of want to make an effort that when I purchase books, if I can, if I'm not too impatient, I should try and purchase them there if they are not too expensive or something like that. Like sometimes they are way too expensive, especially like hardbacks and new releases and stuff. Then it's just easier for me to purchase them online. But in the cases like these ones when it's like paperbacks, it's not really that much more expensive than when I purchase them online. I do want to make an effort to go to the sci-fi bookstore just because it's really cozy and I want to support the store because I really like it. How many pages does that add up to for this small but ginormous somehow book haul <laughs> around two and a half thousand pages could that be it i think maybe that's it actually for this book haul i'm very excited please let me know which one you think i should pick up first as i said it will probably be obsidio because of the readathon but still, let me know which one you think I should read first. I hope you enjoyed this little come book shopping with me. Since I'm making an effort not to buy that many books this year, I really loved this approach of like setting a date to go book shopping, having a goal or an aim of what I wanted to pick up and like really go for it. I liked that a lot. I really liked having this day to look forward to. Unfortunately, it did fall through because I didn't find most of the things I wanted to. So it got a bit weird. Like I was so excited to just go into one store, pick up like five books and then go out. Isn't that the dream to just like start stacking books in a bookstore and then walk around with it like a maniac? That's what I wanted and I couldn't do that. <laughs> Hopefully next time though, we're gonna have to see. So yeah, I will start thinking about what books I want to pick up next time and Hopefully I will see you in that video as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please take care and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes after or what came before.